Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. What's up? What's up? Welcome in. Winning Cures Everything College Football for Army Navy Week and the Heisman Week. And we got coaching stuff going on, so we're just going to wrap it up into one nice big fat podcast, and you can listen to all of it. Of course, the videos will be split, so if you are watching the beginning of this, which will be our Army-Navy preview, make sure you click over to the other videos if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, you can find us on YouTube, of course, if you're watching there. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, leave us some comments, tell us what you think about the game this weekend, tell us what you think about what's going on in the coaching world, tell us what you like about the Heisman Trophy. All that wonderful stuff. I see uh, Chris here is repping Mr. Joe Burrow. That's uh, that's with an X at the end, of course. But it'd be awesome if they put that on the trophy. No, they're not doing that. They're I not know. doing that. I know. It's too professional. Too professional. Either Class way. organization, the NCAA. Go to winningcureseverything.com. You will find all of our stuff over there. Our picks, previews, podcasts, videos, social media platforms. Uh, look, our gambling picks for the last four years are up over there. And... Our football pick'em contest, which is still going strong all the way through the NFL season. Tunica has sent us some more stuff to give away, so we're going to give it away. We're going to find all kinds of ways to get you guys to win contests. So, make sure you go into the football picks contest over there. It's right up in the navigation bar. Check it out. If you're on YouTube, hit subscribe, hit like. Leave us some comments. Tell us what you think about the show. Share the show out. Tell your buddies about it. All that wonderful stuff. If you're listening on the podcast, we appreciate you guys as well. Seriously, we really do. Leave a review. Leave a five-star review. It's really easy to do on your phone now. Very simple stuff, especially over at Apple Podcasts. That Apple algorithm helps us out a ton whenever you subscribe and leave a five-star review. So, we would appreciate it if you'd knock that out. we got a couple of sponsors we got to knock out really quick. Smack Apparel. they got great stuff. Go to smackapparel.com. they got awesome t-shirts for all your favorite pro and college teams. I'm telling you, you are going to appreciate this stuff. They got anti-rivalry shirts, all that kind of stuff. If you're an LSU fan, you hate Alabama, they got stuff for you. Or if you just want something with your college logo on it that's uh, that's a really cool design, they got that stuff too. Go to smackapparel.com, use promo code WIN, that is W-I-N. You'll get a 20% discount off of your order, regardless of how big it is. Regardless of So if it's over $40, by the way, it's going to ship for free. So go check that bad boy out, smackapparel.com. Use promo code WIN for a 20% discount on that. And finally, every week for the last two years, the show has been brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi. And we cannot tell you how much we appreciate them, and we love what they're doing down there. They've always got good stuff going on. Tunica, Mississippi is the South's premier sports gambling destination. they got six incredible sports books, along with a ton of really good steakhouses, some cool golf courses for when it warms up a little bit. They got concerts and comedians and all sorts of shows that are coming through all the time. You can find more information on all of that over at tunicatravel.com. Let's go ahead and jump into this thing. Army Navy is this weekend, and man, two football seasons could not have gone any different than what we expected when the season started. I thought Army was going to be 11 and 2 this year. Now, they started off great. Yeah, they certainly did. You going to get that? I'm going to get my pen. I'm going to leave it there. No, because I need to write my stuff. I need to write my times down. Uh, Yeah, they they have got... I, I expected Army to go really good. I expected Navy to have a losing season again. Neither of those things happened. Nope. Navy is sitting at 10 and 2. Yes, sir. Army is, what, 5 and... What are they, 6 and 6 right now? Nope. They're five and five seven? And, well, they're five and six. No, because they play 13 games, I thought. Then they're six and six. Uh, no, they don't have six wins. I know that I was frustrated with the way we do the bowl things, and we always leave the Army-Navy game out, because what happens if Army wins this game? And then they get to six wins. And they don't get to a, a bowl game, right? But I think that's the thing. I think that they uh, – I'm going to double-check that, because I didn't write it down for whatever reason. And, which makes no sense. Like, I typically write all this kind of stuff in our notes. Army is sitting at 5-7. and seven. That's, that's what it is. Yes. So, well, yeah. if they were 5-6, and six, though, that would be an issue. Well, they'll never be 5-6 and six because they'll always 
I don't think they always play 13 games. They played Hawaii okay. this year. And you get like an exemption to play more games if you do that. Uh, but if they were sitting at five and six in this position. But if they get kinda, to six wins, if they win this game Saturday, you don't think they're A, more deserving, and B, the the actual bowl people would rather have Army than some of these bad bowl teams. You would think so. Um, I kind of think I know so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're right. You're right. I I mean, do you not agree? I don't want to I don't know. I just don't know. You, you agree just to move the conversation. No, on. I just don't know that happens how well Army travels. Like, I don't think that they... I don't, I don't... You're right on that. But I'm going to assure you that a lot of these other bad schools... You probably don't travel either. They don't travel either. And... And you'd rather have one of the service academies. You're going to get people that will show up for the service academies. Yeah. You've got local people in every town in America. And every one of these places where these bowls are set, there are, there's an Army National Guard in that town. And there is going to be, like, local Army people within a two- to three-hour drive that are going to come to this game. Yeah. So, yeah, your service academy fans aren't going to travel to, you know, Florida or Memphis or New Orleans or whatever, but there are local people there that will. Navy, case in point, is playing in the Liberty Bowl. We there will be people there. We have a Navy base in Millington, outside, just outside of Memphis. Navy's going to have a lot of fans. Yeah, I agree with that. A lot of fans. I agree. I agree. I, I absolutely think people will show up. Yeah, yeah, I think you're probably right. So if Army gets the six wins, somebody got some explaining to do. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, nobody feels bad they left Toledo out because we got 87 bowl teams. Yeah. Nobody, nobody feels bad for Toledo. We could care less. But, but would like, you have rather had Army instead of Eastern Michigan? I was about to say, we could, we could find one of these other mediocre schools that barely made a bowl team, and I'd rather have Army over them. Yeah. It's, it's, a, weird, it's a weird schedule. I think, like, you, I, I think your advertisers would rather have Army over them, Yeah, I think the bowl committee people would rather have Army over them. I'm, I just... I, this has been a weird schedule for several years now. Uh, I do like that they moved Army Navy to its own weekend, but I I hate this situation because I mean, say Navy had beaten uh, Memphis earlier in the year, and they were going to the conference USA title game right. or not whatever uh, American Athletic Conference. American. Uh, say they they win the conference, yeah. and then you've still got this week. Can do they we give take them, them, them as the six bowl, or you know, or does this game just not matter? Like, is, you see my point? Like, yeah. it, like does this just not matter for anything? Like, I don't know. It, it doesn't make a lot of sense the way it falls in the schedule. Um, let's talk about some of the uh, some of the stuff going on here. We talked about how drastically different these seasons went for these two teams. Yes. Navy sitting at 10-2, and two, not something I expected. Their no. quarterback, Malcolm Perry, is awesome. Yep. Absolutely awesome. And it, obviously, both teams like to run. Uh, time of possession... Stats, Army is number 11 on the season at 33 minutes and 22 seconds. Navy is 12 with 33 minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, yards per play, which is a, a pretty good indicator of how well you are moving the football, etc. Army is number 65 in the country, 5.8 yards per play. Navy, 6.88. Now, I'm just going to toss something out there for you, Okay. Passing yards per attempt. Obviously, neither one of these teams passes in a lot, but Navy has actually done okay throwing the football this year. Army is number 16 in the country at passing yards per attempt. That's 8.68. Man, Navy is number two in the country. 12.11. Uh, okay. So, uh, I pass, do something three times a year, and if I do it pretty good, then yeah. Pass completion the percentage, high, the though. Highest quarterback completion rate right now. In the NFL is 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 Julian Edelman because he's thrown like three passes in his life and they're all touchdowns. Yes, Ag agreed, agreed. This is why I wanted to make that stark contrast because it's it's number two in the country in passing yards per attempt against number sixteen. Well, then Navy pass completion percentage, Navy fifty point nine nine percent. That's good for one hundred twenty third in the country. Army forty six point seven zero percent. That is dead. Last in the FBS, number 130. So, uh, Navy has been able to... Navy has been able to pass the football a little more 
than Army. They have attempted more passes. Okay. Um, and they're able to move the football that way. They're able to catch people off guard. It's kind of surprising. I'm wondering if they'll be able to do that against Army. Like they, it, it's such a fascinating matchup because they they run the same thing. That's right. Both of they, these guys they mirror one another. Both of these guys come off of the Paul Johnson tree. Correct. I'm it, the line is crazy. Ten and a half. I thought was a lot. Yeah, I know it, that it, Navy, and it, and it keeps going up. And I know the record shows Navy should beat them badly, but before the season started, we did not think that. No, we thought Army would be favored in this game. And it would be a considerable favorite. Yeah. I don't know that it was double digits, but I thought considerable. No, we thought a touchdown, maybe more. Yeah. I mean, maybe. I mean, I guess it could have been Army minus 10. I mean, it's it's just insane that it's moved. This much. This much. Yeah. At 10 and a half is, is pretty nuts. I, I will say this, like because obviously we're going to give out picks on these. Um, I'm going to take Army to cover this game. Yeah, I think I am too. Like, th- this will be low scoring. Um. I, I mean, the under in this game, has which what's the total on this? I was just pulling that up. Hang on, give me a second. The, the under. 40 and a half. 40 and a half. I, I'm going under. What has it been lately? Because for some reason, I feel like every year we go under, and every year it goes up. Yeah, it, it it hits under at All an 80% clip. Okay. Right. So it's, it's. Maybe I'm wrong on it. There's, there's I do know that we spots. always talk about go under, go under, go under. And I feel like I always find a way to lose money on this. In, game. in all the in all of these service academy games, like it is better to go under because it, it oh, literally yeah. hits at like a seventy eight to eighty percent clip. Well, they just eat clock. They the, just eat. They, they have so many less. The, Listen, the Alabama one game. had eighty snaps against Auburn. There won't be eighty snaps combined in this football no. game. The <laughs> the under that that be a very efficiently played game. So they I, they I will appreciate tell you. the military academy. They are efficient. Yes, 100%. We'll be in, in and out of this thing. Three in, hours. Yeah, at less than that. Um, well, college, no, commercial college, time. College football will not allow that. That's, you it, gotta, it will not be less. You got a valid point. There, there's there's going to be a big audience it's for this. 60 it's, minute halftime show. Um, the only Service Academy game that doesn't go under regularly is Air Force and Navy. Okay. And that one this year. I mean, it was thirty-five to I was twenty. About to say, I thought that was pretty high scoring. Yeah, it was. It was well in the fifties. So, yeah, uh, this one, however, I mean, every year it is seventeen to ten. It is twenty-one to fourteen. We're expecting 21 to bad 17. weather, right? We're expecting. That. We know it's going to be cold. I don't know if it's going to be bad weather, but we, we know it's going to be cold. We know it's going to be cold, and and maybe gets maybe get a little precipitation. It's going to be played on grass, which means it's going to get muddy. Slow it down. Is this one in Philadelphia? This the way, year? yes, this is in Philly. That is. Is it in Philly every year? No. Because sometimes oh. They, oh, it's Lincoln Financial. It might be every year. Man, I don't think so, though. I'm almost positive it's not every year. Because sometimes I thought it was at West Point. Sometimes I thought uh, at the, you, you would feel like we'd be a little more prepared for this. We only have one game to talk about. Yeah, no. But we're getting into talking about things that we weren't really planning on talking about. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Let's see. Philadelphia weather for... Saturday. Oh, yes, sir. So, high of 56, low of 41, 80% chance of rain. boy. That is what I'm, I'm going sounds under. Like the, sounds like Philadelphia, I know. That's going under the 40 so and a was, half. It was played at the link last year. I guess maybe it is played in Philly every year. That's and I'm gonna disappointing. Take, I'm going to take Army plus 10 and a half. I'd like to see this played at one of these home stadiums. And I will take Navy to win the game straight up. But I guess they want a bigger crowd. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. So, Army plus 10.5, I'm going to take Navy straight up. Uh, are you doing the same thing? Yeah, I think I can't pull the trigger on the upset. I want to, though. I, I like mean, they, Army has won this game, what, three years in three a row? Three years now? in a row. At least two years in a row, I know that. Um, I always like, we talk about this, these are the best uniforms in all of sports. Yes. The special uniforms they get for this game. I really like the Army uniforms a lot better. And this it, it, typically it's navy. I don't know. I've I've liked the army ones in the past too, but I I really like the army ones a lot better this year. Yeah, yeah. Army has won three straight. Okay. So I knew they won the last two. Yeah, this is uh, three years back. I I don't remember that far. That makes you're sense. asking a lot then. Twenty-one to seventeen uh, last year. Okay. Right, here we go. I just had that pulled up. So twenty-one to seventeen uh, three years ago. Fourteen to thirteen two years ago. 
17 to 10 the, yeah. last year. Yeah, there you go. Touchdown game last year. Yeah. It, it you have to go a long ways back before you get to any game that uh that broke 40 and that would be 2013 when Navy won 34 to 7. What was that 21-17 game? 21-17. That busted the over though. That's I mean that's 38. Yeah, but I don't know that the over under was 40. It might not have been. It may have, it may have gone over there. But I know that I've lost money on that under before. Yeah, probably so. No, it could have been 10 years ago. I don't. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Once you get past two years, I told you. It could be three years. It could have been a decade. I, yeah. It's all the same up here. It is, uh, it's strange. Army's defense is, is not great this season. What happened? Um, well, I mean, they, they, they just lost. Their Super Bowl was, was against uh, Michigan, and they, they lost that game because they played the perfect football game against Michigan. Yeah. And then they didn't not, – not play perfect. They didn't play good the rest I, of the year. I think it has more to do with losing Jay Bateman last year. Okay. I think, I think he deserves a lot more credit for that defense than, than we gave him credit for. Probably. Um, that makes sense. I can see that. And they, they lost him, and, and they've just not been the same team, which is, which is crazy. Like, the offense has not changed much at, at all. Well, um, no, their offense. And they, they were returning. The exact same. Yeah, they were returning basically everybody. And that's why we were all so gung ho about uh, this schedule is easy. They'll be able to da 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 da. But you lose a very integral part of your team and your scheme with that coach. Like I, I think Bateman meant a lot more to Army than uh, than we gave him credit for. So we're both Army plus ten and a half, but we are taking Navy to win the game, right? Yes, sir. Sounds sounds good to me. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.